Hello and welcome to the Flexland Media coverage of the Front 7 lead cut action of Round 4 at the 2020 Christchurch Fling. My name is Chris Hoopman and I'm joined again by Brady Cush. Hey Chris. Brady? Good Chris, how are you? <laughs> I'm really well. I'm really excited to get into this final round action. It's been such a good tournament so far. So glad to watch such amazing disc golf. Yeah, it's a real world run. The only one who's really playing hot through three rounds is Simon Feezy, so he's our leader. Uh, coming in here at minus 13 overall. Um, then you have two tied for second. Um, you have myself, uh, who you saw on lead card for round three. And then you have the um, kind of the local boy. So Jasper's jumped in at minus one as well. And then you have the southpaw end of a player, Hemi Teofitu, coming in from Queenstown. It's so happy to share a card with him again. Yeah, mate. Hemi is always uh, so consistent. It's great to see him jumping onto the lead card for this final round. Should be exciting to see what he does on this Christchurch fling course. Yeah, I'm really excited to see what lines he throws on holes, especially this hole, hole one, par three, 101 meters. Um, Jasper, Simon, and myself, you'll most likely see take the right hand backhand, and we'll be taking hyzers out to the right hand side of those trees you can see kind of guarding the pin and let it slide in. Uh, Hemi, of course, is going to be lefty. He doesn't quite get the hyzer line like we do. Um, so he may take like a flip up mid range kind of straight at the basket, straight as the drone flies. Uh, much better conditions or arguably slightly better conditions at least um, to start this round. So there's no rain. It looks like there's a little bit of sunshine. Uh, Simon opting for, it looks like a Kotuku coming out. Looks pretty straight. Wind's playing with it a little bit. Oh, or a lot. Again, we see that like zero skip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A uh, little air bounce hop didn't really do much. So yeah, he's sitting pin high. He'll be just outside the circle. Jasper taking the straight up approach. I love watching Jasper throw. It's so cool. He's got that like Real focus run up and just pops it out. Uh, real good. It looks like he slide behind the basket, so he it's going to be a tough birdie look with that tree coming into play. And uh, how are you feeling coming into round four, final round? Uh, I'm feeling really lucky. I was really happy to like battle back in those like last few holes. Um, so you know, like I'm trying to like build that momentum into this front uh, seven here. Unfortunately, yeah, you can see the wind took that disc. Um, I threw a little less stable, so that was just my wasp, and it, you know, like the wind just took it way mm. out right. So I'm gonna have to try to get my up and down for three. Gonna be fun to see uh, Hemi uh, off the tee. Obviously, we haven't seen any left hand play along uh, through this course, so he's always fun to watch. Looks like he's turned that a little bit, getting a cut roll just mm. uh, right next to that tone pole target, and that's a pretty big cut roll. Yeah, just that's lost a couple of meters there. Yeah. Cut rolled right back towards him. That's not really what he's going to be wanting. So yeah, he took that flip up and it flipped up way too much mm. and got over. So he has got to take a second shot from the middle of the fairway here. Should be a little like just putter up shot for him, I would think. Oh, that's caught some wind. And uh, a tree. Yeah, and a tree. <laughs> the tree's probably the worst bit. Wind wasn't so bad. Um, but yeah, not quite the gardens, you know, like this wind is howling through. So, you know, like he might not be used to that when it comes to touch. Oh, this is a nice little direct Six. forehand from you. That was really nice. Yeah, that'll do. I'm used to the wind in Wellington, so that's pretty routine upshot for me. Just a little low, cut through. Mm, and I think that was a way up. Yeah, half bid, maybe. Yeah. You could see never really had the hype <laughs> for it. Simon, however, wants this. It'd be a good birdie to get, though he's outside the circle. Little, like, the height was almost there. Yeah, he said after this, like, that was actually his point. He wanted to go long because he wanted the tailwind. Uh, so he okay. wanted a different yeah. wind Playing for his par putt. Yep. Yep. Yeah, so it's a little bit of a position play by him. Oh, uh, Jasper. oh, no. Where are you going? So, yeah, Jasper had the unfortunate ah. early release with a straddle to catch the tree, but the wind just ripped it out of his hand. Yeah, he like, didn't even catch edge. It literally just like taco and like oh. knuckle pot flipped. And he is outside, outside the circle. The He's back circle. where Simon had his. Mm. So, yeah, little forehand approach by him. But even that, like you can see yeah. the wind's picked up again. Simon taps out, so he had the win that he wanted. That's a good par by him. Nice play. Come on, Jasper. Save it. Come on. Focus. <sighs> yeah, that headwind. Like I said, you know, like these pots in this condition, you have to sit and focus on all of them. Yeah, Jasper, unfortunately, carting the, the bo double bogey on hole one. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the Nomez. Ah. Oh. <laughs> First Nomez in flex line history. It had to be me. Yeah, as you can see, perfect putt, nice and low, like it hard of the chain. Just like, uh, yeah, yeah. You, you, look, you see me check the basket. I'm like, that's in, right? Like it yeah. stopped moving. It's not doing anything. Because yeah, the wind totally caught that in the middle, held it up, it so it didn't drop did in. Make the chains. Yeah, and dropped out. 
Oh, that's a terrible way to start, but hey, you know, you just got to take the punches yeah, and roll with them. Onto hole two, par three, 138 meters. Uh, this one's been a tricky one all weekend. These players are just going to want to push out a big rip over to the right hand side, probably Hemi to the left, um, and hope that they can get as close as possible to the circle. This one's been tricky all weekend, as yeah, I said. Yeah, Simon's the only one I think who's carded the birdie. He carded the birdie in hole one. It's one of the hardest holes on the course. Um, it looks like he's just taken a safe drive out to the middle. Um, so no real problem by him there. Um, yeah, he should have an open look. Uh, yeah, Hemi and I both took the bogey on that first one. So, you know, like I'm coming up here second. I'm trying to throw like super overstable. I'm just like, look, I don't Ooh, want to deal with that wind. I'm but, trying to correct. Yeah, just a little bit left. Getting under through the tree. Yeah, I'm pretty, I was happy with that. Like you yeah. said, it was an early release. So I have to accept that one. But yeah, it's probably better for you to fall uh, to to get through the tree than to hit the tree and fall. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. then you have that low ceiling to play with. Oh, it looks like Hemi's opting for a turnover. Yeah, so this is I think it's a flippy destroyer. Um, Hemi, please correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> and I think there's laughter because he parked the basket of yeah. Is the that like a hole. black ace? <laughs> Almost, yeah. <laughs> Jasper's uh... trying to come with me. He doesn't look like he's going to get the same break I did though. Yeah, yeah he hit early into the tree. So yeah, it's gonna be a low ceiling for him. Um, but he should be able, he can take, yeah, skip on this right hand side. Get a There's big skip. the skip. Keep it going, move, keep it going, move, keep move. it going. Ah. Nah. Just didn't really have the momentum required. Yep, and that's yeah, with this sand, it's hard to get like the good skip. You really have to get your angles right. So here's Hemi. Hemi's over on the right hand side, takes a big spike hyzer out to the left. Sit. Yeah. Still a little bit short. But he's that's a pretty good result for where he was. Yeah, I mean, like, it's technically a look. He'll be out in circle two, so he can give it a bit if he wants to. Um, I was just trying to chill on that one. I just kind wanted a, to take an easy upshot. Kind of a good little wind skip. Yeah, all right, but I left it short. You know, like, that's not what I was looking for. You know, like, I definitely wanted to be pin high and should be under the basket. Ah, uh, Simon just catching the tree. Yeah, Simon maybe saw mines. Like, oh, Brady yeah. released it early. I got to throw it different. So catches that tree on the right-hand side. Again, he's going to have that circle sort of edge look mm -hmm. he doesn't want. Oh, this looks soft from Jasper. Yeah, you called but, it. Oh, yeah. oh, that skip. Yeah. Nice little air skip. So that's <laughs> going to be too fine. So here's that bid. Let's see if Hemi can save the par. This should be probably outside his comfort zone. Give it a bit. Oh. On the pole. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm pretty sure I yelled out, get in, because his line was perfect. You could see just a little bit low. Ah, left from Simon. Yeah, left from Simon, not too bad. Like, not a terrible win read on that one. So, you, you know, you got to take your punches. Here's me. This is a tricky par. This is definitely outside my comfort zone in these conditions. Oh. Yep. Just nose down the whole way. Yep, never committed to it. Yep. Never got it up, never gave it a chance. Come on, Jasper. There it is. That's the one. Good catch. Sticks, takes the bogey. Like, it's going to hurt and sting yep. a little bit, but, you know, not too much damage. And uh, as these guys are putting out, um, this was the hardest hole in round four. We had no birdies across the field. 75% of the field was over par, and Whoa. it played an entire stroke over par. Yeah, I was going to say, you just yeah. quite literally watched the lead card of the tournament go <laughs> bogey, 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 bogey. <laughs> it's a tricky one for everyone. On to hole three, par three, 46 meters. As I always say, plays a touch longer than I think it's recorded. Uh, this uh, is a tricky one, though players trying to get as close to the top of the hill as I can um, with this wind as typical for the weekend it's going to be tricky for them looks like they're ripping into a headwind oh, Simon opting to go for the more hyzer route we've seen him go more direct yeah he's gone more rounds. direct it looks like maybe that was an upshot that he was just trying to play for mm. the stairs on that one rather than trying to go I've dissed up so this is my buzz OS again um, I'm just trying to take the straight going into a headwind I didn't think a putter would make it so I'm just like look Let's take something that will. I'm pin high, yep. out left. It'll probably just, you know, I'll take the up and down. Yeah, if you bailed out to the left side, that's safe there. Hemi obviously taking the other uh, left-hand route. And yeah, he's so falling a bit short. He's sitting a little bit short. He's in that chips where uh, Jimmy was uh, last round in round three. Um, but, you know, like he might have a look at that. <sighs> Sit. Ooh. That's that's not bad from Jasper. That's really good. So that's probably going to be edge of the circle mm -hmm. with the uphill putt. But mm -hmm. I mean, like, that's a look. Yeah, like, man. he's close enough for a look. Hemi's like, yeah. I don't want anything <laughs> to do with it. So that's a nice layup by Hemi. Nice and good. Uh, his angle was right, so it's just going to sit when it hits the hill. Ooh. 
Good little wind action by there. No roll down, so that's not too bad. <laughs> Simon's like, what the heck is yeah. wind doing? Oh, oh what oh, a oh. great putt. Yeah, great putt. Took aiming, his time, settled. Aiming at the, the inside top of the basket, just right in there. Yep, here's and Hemi. Looks like we've missed my upshot. It looks like I'm halfway up the hill with Hemi uh, there. Yep, yep. Yep, good. You can see the wind played it there. You know, like almost pushes his out, mm -hmm. but you know, like that's a good little par by Hemi. Here I am tapping in my par. I mean, you know, like again, like that's a great... <laughs> watch it. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> you know, like Simon getting the birdie on this hole, you know, like that's... He's already got a stroke on everyone on this card, you know, like, mm -hmm. and this is lead card. So the idea that other people are going to be throwing over par, like that hole was so difficult despite how short it was on the weekend. Yeah, Simon definitely playing uh, this front seven the best so far hole four par four 164 meters the road and beyond to the left is ob extending through the bollards right by the green and the mando left of the bush just in front of the green makes a tricky approach for all of our players yeah it's pretty hard getting off the tee especially you're gonna see i'm pretty sure we had a good bit of wind uh we're a bit sheltered here on the green but you can see the end of those poplars are really roaring simon that's real close to out of bounds uh, yeah, the whole card yeah. screaming for it to get down. He's even like, get, nope. Hands in pockets, head yeah, down. Head down, ah. he knew it. He's like, man, like, what am I doing? So here I am, I'm trying to settle. So I just watched Simon go out of bounds. I know that the wind is pushing to the right. So I'm trying to like, set. I'm basically trying to settle and focus to like, make this shot count. Oh, and that's quite right oh, early. And man. that's flipped a ton. Yeah, it came out pretty smooth. It was looking mm -hmm. pretty good out of my hand, like out until about the poplars. But as soon as it got exposed to that wind, you saw it click, and it overturned just out to the right. But hey, you're safe. Yeah, I'm safe, so I'll take it. Uh, Hemi's going to be playing with me. He looks like he's read the wind a lot better. Wind's not doing too much to his discs. So yeah, he's he's nice and fine. He's out about even with yep. that, so it should cater to like a nice mid-range upshot for him. Yeah, really safe for the left-handers here. Big bailout zone to the right-hand side. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, it looked like a little bit of slip. You could hear it there, a little mm. squeaky on the tee pad. So but he's he, just by you. Yep. Yeah. Uh, he's nice and open, though. So he's be he's behind that tree. Oh, What's no. He? no. That's similar to Cooper on the first round. <sighs> just the forehand up shot, not quite. Yeah, um, that's a bit of a mistake there. Him. Yeah, mm. going out of bounds. You see a bit more rain, maybe influenced your flick there. It wasn't the rain. What really oh. influenced that for me was the low ceiling. So I didn't ah. want to go out of bounds because I just watched Jasper mm -hmm. do it. I was really just trying to get up towards the corner so that I could make a nice easy par. But unfortunately with the low ceiling, it got in my Ooh. head. Bit um, of an awkward stance there for Hemi. Yeah, what a lot of people what don't know, Hemi actually just strained his groin, I think it was. So when he planted on his foot, it went into a hole. And so, like, that's going to kind of be playing up for the rest of the round. Um, yeah, and as it looks can, like you're sharing your, your upshot there. You're both on the front yeah, end of that bush. That's I was so nervous. I'm like, don't go OB, mm. don't go OB, don't mm. go OB. And so what I do, I just put it straight into the bushes. Simon, so this is however, Simon playing from his OB, and he played that really well. Yeah, trust the forehand, yeah. flirts with the out of bounds, comes back nicely. That's perfect. Let's see what Jasper can do. Get it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Huge throw in. Yeah, let's see that again. This was so oh. great to watch live. Um, it looks so good the whole way. We're like, get yeah. it. And that's like heart of the change, doesn't slide through. Absolutely oh. amazing save. Yeah, we are so stoked. Run Love that in, it. Jasper. You have earned it. <laughs> earned it, bro. Oh, that was awesome. Yep, so yeah, here's Hemi. Hemi's a little bit short. So Obi's not into play. You do have the wind that's coming around, so it's going to be real tricky to give it a bid. A little bit of a jumper. Oh, not Art. terrible. Yeah. <laughs> like a little bit more sauce than that was going in the basket. Oh, what, where are you? Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm in the bushes where you don't want to be. I opted, yeah, for mm. this little outplay because I'm like, look, I can't proceed towards the basket, so I'll just take a nice little easy out. Hemi's going to tap into his par because I have to, like, <laughs> collect my bag and then walk around yeah. the bush. It was a nightmare for me. <gasps> Talking of nightmare, Simon. Oh, yeah, he like knows it was such he... a great save too, coming back from mm -hmm. the out of bounds off the drive. Mm -hmm. Let's see if you can clean this one up. 
Oh. Yeah, that one was hard to relive, um, especially after hole one. I had to spit out, you'll see me a little speed of play here, because mm. I, I had earned that bogey, you know, like having the low yeah. like second shot there under the tree and then going into the bushes. I'm like, look, I got the look. Yeah. I'm going to make it. And to get that spit out was just... There's uh, honestly not much worse than earning a bogey and then missing it. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, yeah, such a battle. Hopefully I can bring it back. Let's see, hole five, par three, 62 meters. Um, as the drone flies, it flies on the forehand line or the lefty line that Hemi will most likely take here on the outside left because um, take that willow out of play. Otherwise, you can take a backhand kind of through the little gaps through the willow branches, kind of straight up the guts by the trunk of the tree. Um, Hemi's got the T. And he's taking that left hand line, keeps it nice and low. Yeah, but a but little bit short, punches ooh. through enough, just get, tickles underneath the bottom of those branches. He'll have a putt. Yeah, that'll be sneaky. I like that. Nice work, Hemi. Here's Jasper. Gonna follow that. Oh, that's high. Come on, push. Where is it? Where is it? I'm not sure where that one ended up. Must have been caught yeah. up in the tree on the on the edge there. I'm pretty sure like he dropped on the outside edge. Oh, Simon's so like, get down. down. It yeah. gets down, but after it hits the tree. <laughs> With all of the rain, you can mm. see the branches are super low. Mm. So that inside line, that straight shot it's is really heavy. hard on this yeah. on this hole. Oh. Yeah, so oh, my confidence no. was was rattled there. You can see me kind of like play with my socks <laughs> and, you know, like I'm just searching through the reeds for my disc. We actually had to start a timer on this one. Um, so I'd gone too far. I was just in but the you edge were just here. On the, actually on the edge. Yeah, so I do have a little bit of a thumber look. I'm just trying to make it around this corner. Oh. Didn't judge it right at of, all. Yeah. Yeah, I needed to give it more height so that to make it around. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like this, this grass on the whole course was so grabby. grippy. So grippy. So Simon's got a little forehand straddle out. That's a great up. Yeah, easy up for him. Yeah. Uh, good work, you know, punching oh. through the willows. Jasper's actually pushed up, not too not too bad. He takes and the same yeah, layup Simon great. does. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. And you notice, going for the forehand roller? Yeah, so I had no air shot. Um, it was too t tight to the willow, so mm -hmm. I couldn't really take a forehand at it either. So yeah, just a nice little touch roller, you know, like something that we throw in, in Wellington at Harcourt Park all the time to get out of jail. So yeah, I'm just trying to like put the tourniquet on, get the Band-Aid. Come on, Hemi. Yeah, yeah, gets the third. Lead card nice. action. Go lefty. On your Hemi. Good, good to see that. That's yep. probably feeling good for him. You know, like that leg's not feeling too great at the moment, but you know, like getting a birdie mm -hmm. is. Second of the card. Yep. Easy tap out. Uh, for Jasper and Simon, and it's going to be the unfortunate bogey for me. Uh, yeah, you'll see me grinning on that one. So that was a lefty putt. I said I was going to make one this tournament. So uh, you'll get it there on my tap out. And on to hole six, the big one, the par five, 200, uh, 246 meters. Um, the players will be hoping to turn one over or flick one to the landing zone just in between the rough on the left and this tree. And then they'll have to shape their shot into the opening as we head uh, through this gap. Um, there's obviously the pond on the right to avoid and the OB on the left that we saw Johnny unfortunately trickle into in round three. Um, ideally, you'll be ending up here for your next throw, um, pushing up through uh, this opening, um, hyzering over this little bush on the fairway and then ending up in the little green on the left here. Quite a tricky one. <laughs> Tricky is an understatement. This was a monster. Um, with this wind, it made it no easier. Um, Hemi off the tee looks like, yeah, body English. He's like, go right, go right. Come on, where's the wind? <laughs> so yeah, he's ended up in those trees on the left. That is not where you want to be. That's between the two corners. So that's going to kind of be jail for him. Oh, and this is huge from Jasper. Let's go. So that yeah. has easily cleared the middle rough. He has just completely avoided that kind of dog leg in the course. And I'm pretty and sure he just came down in the middle of chase card. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that looks like um, Dazg and Dispro. So he's filming chase card action. Um, it looks like Jackson and Jimmy too were there. Simon's following Simon, him. Simon was like, yeah, go, I can see go, that. Go, go, go. Yeah. Just behind. Man. Yeah, so they'd thrown two great spike hyzers up over that yeah. bush. I'm like, that looks great. The wind is affecting them not at all. So needless to say, I'm like, I can throw that. Oh. I'm Does rethinking push, that decision. Push, but, mm. Nah, I never got it high enough. So if you look out at me, it's more of a little bit of a line drive. I never got the height and spike hyzer that you got out but of. But you're just on the edge still. You didn't go too deep. Yeah, but if you'll notice, this is my get out of jail shot. So that's a little forehand roller. I'm just trying to get into the open. Mm. 
Um, because yeah, I can't make progress towards a basket, and on a long par five like this, that's Ooh. not where you want to be. And going. he's got a massive stretch out, and that's another just yeah. Yep, another little pitch out. He's over pitch by out. me. Yeah. So yeah, we kind of have to take our medicine and try to get the second shot here. Thankfully, you'll see the conditions cleaned up a little bit, so it looks like we got a bit of sunshine. So hopefully, I can make this second corner and try to at least put myself back in contention for par. Get around. Get around. Ah, you uh, caught behind that tree. Yeah, it looks like I pushed it far, so you got yeah. that guardian tree on the left there, so that's going to make my next up shot uh, more difficult than I want it to be. This should be bread and butter for Hemi. It's yeah, routine spike, for him. Spike around the corner. Sick. Yeah, that's shaped up perfectly. Yeah. Yeah. So that's twice two rounds in a row, you know, like that I go first and I don't make the gap and I watch mm. the person just behind me make it. That's a great shot by Hemi right in the middle of the fairway. So Simon's made it to a good spot, but he's still got a kind of awkward little turnover to get around that corner. Yeah, but he plays it really well. Great shot yeah. by him. Looked like a two or something like that. Just a little putter around the corner. Jasper's looking big. We watched him. He, you know, like he was eyeing it up, walking down the fairway. Conditions are starting to clear up. Ooh, turn, turn, turn. Keep going. No, uh oh. Ah, just catching that yeah, left so side. Yeah, so he's led. Oh no really way! Good roller. That is so lucky. That's insane. So yeah, he was right in the heart of that tree. Mm -hmm. That was going to be a terrible shot from there. But yeah, he got a great rollout. As you can see, I'm I'm snookered behind this tree here, so oh, I'm... Oh, come on. Yeah. Come that's... back. Uh, Turned over out of the hand. It looks like I'm over in that tree. Just next to Jasper. Yeah, but I don't think I got the rollout like Jasper did. Jasper is sitting nice and pretty. He should be able to work with that. Hemi, however, he can go right down the pipe. Sit this down. This needs to flip a little bit. Ooh. Ooh he's going to be inside a tree. Yeah, he's pin high, but yeah, because mm. he's lefty, it's high... He's trailed off to that right-hand side. So, yeah, he's, as you can see where Simon is now, he's going to be to the right mm -hmm. of that bush you can see down the fairway. Simon, come on. Textbook for you. Let's yeah. do this. Straight up and down. into the green. There's the up. Mm -hmm. Where's the down? Oh, just beating that edge. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. yeah. Just fine. He's right there. Inside there circle. Go. And that should be a birdie look for him. So, yeah. like, that's, like, just well played. Make the first corner, make the second corner, get to the green. Yeah. <laughs> Spike Heiser number two on the hole. Yeah. Gets it. Sit. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Probably still not as close as he would like. Nah, yeah, that yeah. circle has edge. She probably wanted to be. <laughs> oh, what's going on here? <laughs> so I had no stance. I couldn't kneel. The only way so for me to get this little my get out of jail shot, that little forehand roller, I had to literally it's sit on my butt. Sit like a schoolboy on the carpet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah got around so at least i'm out in the open now but i mean like i'm just hemorrhaging strokes at this point i was in the bushes off the tee yeah get the hole over with Sit. and that's a great up like little the tiniest bit of confidence just yeah, yeah. Oh. i'm just like i can walk away now i can tap in and i can walk away hemi good punch out good up oh what <laughs> coming at chris yeah coming in hot he looks like he's juiced it a little bit so he's gonna be flirting with those bushes but it should be okay yeah, that's still within hemi range definitely close enough Oh, has to go for the knee, little straddle knee shot. Oh, that's right, because he's lefty. Mm. Get up, get up, get up. Ah, Hemi. That's when his wheelhouse, real shame, but yeah, it's probably going to that knee, you know, again, not that footing, the conditions. Just not as well practiced. Yeah, just not comfy. Jasper, oh, over the top. A little bit too much. Yeah, it's real interesting. Jasper, uh, when he putts, he holds it with both hands, so he's kind of got that, like, KJ beginning, mm -hmm. but he doesn't putt with a straddle. Right, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't really want to overshadow it. That is an absolutely insane <laughs> birdie out of Simon Feezy. The like, little grimace. <laughs> yeah. But it, yeah. It'll be feeling pretty good. Yeah. Textbook birdie. Like, mm. that's insanely good. He's going to be picking up strokes on this entire card, yep. stretching that lead of his to even more. Yeah. For our fourth round, this one was the uh, the third hardest, which is interesting. Um, we had one um, eight, uh, five sevens, seven sixes, and four birdies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what was going on yeah. here. But. <laughs> so me and Hemi, so like I was joking as I came up to mine of like, oh, you got to straddle the easy one. So Hemi's like, oh, I'll just take a knee. So drops down and drops <laughs> it in. Love so it. much fun. Really good to see, even though we were taking bogeys on that hole, we're having a bit of fun. Which brings us to the last hole of the front seven. Hole seven, par three, 93 meters. Easily gettable by this lead card. You have that pond playing out of bounds on the right hand side and the basket tucked right close to that out of bounds. Um, hopefully we can all, you know, like Hemi will show us the lefty line, but the rest of us righties will probably take four hands like Simon has here. And if he can make the corner, he should have a putt. Get around, get around. Yes. Ooh, Ooh. sit. A little bit long, but that's all right. You know, like that's two rounds in a row. Whoa, actually real juice. He's going to be circle yeah. two. I thought that was a lot closer. 
Let's see what Jasper can do. He's got the forehand. He's pushed us out nicely. Kept it wide. Hopefully, we can get a bit of skip. Not as much as you would want. But it's grabbed up, and he'll have a nice, easy upshot. Putt if he wants to run it, if he wants to get yep. a little bit risky, but... Same distance as Simon, so, you know, it does give him a look, mm -hmm. yeah, if he wants to be cheeky. But, yeah, this really settles up for a lefty. Yeah. Hemi's looks like he's taking it way wide. Nice and safe. Super safe. And that's just as far yeah. as Simon got. Yeah, but I, th I think, again, yeah, so yeah, he's just, just behind Simon yeah. there, but he, he just played it safe. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? He's like, I don't want to flirt that at all. Yeah, especially coming off a, a double bogey. Mm -hmm. Just settle down. Yeah, and you're seeing me, jackets off, the sun's out, starting to heat up, you know, like I'm trying to bring my gamer back around. I've tied a few hard holes here. This looks a little bit tight. That's inside. Oh, and way inside. Out of bounds. Yep. Man. Ugh, gross. In the stinky pond. Yeah, not and really. And now you've got an approach shot across the pond, which doesn't make it any friendlier. Yeah, I probably should have practiced this jump putt mm -hmm. um, before this round. Hey, you played it all right. Yeah. Looking... Away from the OB, so it makes it a little bit more tricky, but you know, you're within three meters, so that should be a routine. Safe half go. Come on, Hemi. Mm -hmm. Pull cat action. Let's go. Ah. Uh, that's all right. Yeah, it's yeah. A, again, a little half bid, you know, <laughs> yeah. like that Queenstown Gardens coming into the play, like the touch that he has with that pole cat's insane. Simon, mm. same thing, like a little half go, you know, like not fully committing to it. Because again, that OB is right on that backhand side. Yes, but always looks like he's running it. <laughs> Every time he puts it, he gives it a good go. Ugh. Yeah, that's yeah. a good run. Everyone is going a little bit right. Yeah, super close, but no issues, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Just that little half go, you know, like take out of bounds, out of play, but at least give yourself a chance. Um, you know, like it'll be easy tap in <laughs> for them. <laughs> wow. That was a strong putt. You can see me kind of, you know, like I was a bit frustrated with yeah. that. It's hard to take another bogey. That's quite a bit of red on my card. So, you know, like I'm sitting at plus, plus seven, seven at this stage in the game. Um, as you know, like Hemi's tapping out his par. Simon taps out his par. Jasper will tap out his as well. So most of the card is still Simon way out the front at that mm. minus three. You got Hemi at plus three and Jasper at plus two. But yeah, my wheels are definitely starting to come off. Oh man, I just want to watch this one more time. Jasper throwing in hole four. Smash, what a par save. Um, great from that out of bounds. Yeah, and you got the kneeling putt, so much fun. Uh, yeah. I love playing with Hemi. Uh, you can see us both smiling there, so that's really good. Simon's really the only one who needs to be smiling. Simon's coming in at a minus 13. You got uh, Jimmy and Jasper coming in at plus two, so they're tied for second. And then you have Jackson and Hemi tied at plus three. Um, so yeah, you know, like it is a close battle here for that second spot. You see Chase Card is starting to come into the mix. Yeah, definitely it's... Uh... <laughs> Man, this has been a really fun uh, final round. Um, people are really in good spirits. Uh, the weather's turning and it's gonna be a fantastic middle seven. We'll see you there. See you there.